Hello, this is Vern, and if one of your goals in life is to get married to an amazing man, in today's video, I'm gonna help you identify the specific dating stages that let you know you're headed in that direction rather than unknowingly wasting your time for months or years on end. Hello, this is Vern. Welcome to another edition of Vern. Mendez.com, a space where I share with ambitious, conscious, and heart-centered women how you can attract the man you want and enter the relationship you crave without the need for gimmicks, manipulation, or crazy techniques. If this is your first time here and this is a topic that deeply interests you, make sure you click the subscribe button right now so you can be notified of new episodes as they come out. Now, before I go into the exploration of what's really needed for you to get what you want, what are the specific stages that let you know you're headed in the right direction instead of unknowingly, as so many women date without seeing the end result they want. What you want is to be able to influence and inspire someone to want to move forward without having to move things forward on your own. And for that, ground zero is having clarity and intention. And here's what I mean. There's two types of clarity you're gonna need. If you want to date consciously and intentionally for the purpose of finding an amazing life partner, AKA a husband. And that's gonna be the clarity of what are you looking for in a man? What are the values, the virtues, the characteristics that would make you thrive in partnership? And what are the things that you don't want? What are the things that would be deal breakers for you? Now there's a difference in a deal breaker and something that's not preferable, but doable. And if you have everything as a deal breaker, then it's gonna be really hard for you to find what you want. If you have nothing that's a deal breaker, then you'll find yourself again and again in relationships that suck. So that's the first type of clarity. Second type of clarity, which is sometimes talked about, but seldomly explored in depth, is who do you need to be, what you need to bring to the table so that you get what you want. And it's not about changing who you are, it's about noticing what are the blind spots you've had that you need to step into in order to get what you want. For some women, it's more openness. For some women, it's more aliveness. For some women, it's more directness and less ambiguity or less agreeableness and more, here's what I need to make things work. So whatever that is for you, you need to have two lists. A list of what you're looking for and the list of what is the equivalent of that in a woman and not just, well, I am great. This is, I have everything that I need to be and I'm not finding what I want. Typically, there might be one or two things you need to make a shift on so that you can express yourself more powerfully. But that's the first step. The intention part of it is you need to make a commitment to date with intention, which means you're going to do things in a way that's slightly more uncomfortable at the beginning, but far more fulfilling for you. Because if you do things, just show up and don't follow the steps or don't see those steps following, being followed through, the likelihood that you'll find yourself in a relationship that sucks because you want more than what's taking place is so high. So before I go into my seven steps that you need to go through to really experience the lifelong <laughs> connection that you're seeking, let me just share that if you want to take this video further than I can share in this short time, there's going to be a training that I created for you. You can click the first button in the description of this video. It will allow you to start watching right away. And what this training will do for you is show you how to go beyond the intellectual understanding of the stuff you've been reading and watching on videos and how to take it in your heart and in your experience so you create change, not just intellectual understanding. You can get that by, you, if you click the first link, you'll see a page that looks like this. Enter in an email, you can start watching that training right away. Now the first step that needs to take place is qualifying with intention. Qualifying means that if you've been dating without knowing exactly what the guy is looking for and you're not finding that out until third, fourth, fifth date, you're wasting so much time and you're also creating connections with men that will be hard to break free from. Why? Because if you develop strong chemistry with someone without knowing what they want and you start getting attached and you start investing time and you start projecting things into the future and then you find out they want something different from what you want, there is a likelihood that even though you don't want to continue down that path, that the feelings you're experiencing are strong enough and different enough and exciting enough that you may hold on for just a little longer. And a little longer, my dear, sometimes turns into months, sometimes into years. So my recommendation is when you start the conscious process of dating, you need to be clear first in your head about what you want, but then ask 
the men that you're dating to let you know what they're looking for in the dating process, what they're looking for in a relationship. And you need to be very aware of what are the things that, at least in principle, let you know that you're going to the same destination versus things that make it a deal breaker and you should stop no matter how attractive the guy is, no matter how great you think he is, no matter how emotionally connected you feel you are in that moment. If he's going to a different destination, you need to stop. <laughs> Second stage, once you do the qualifying, that means you will only go forward with those fewer men that you started connecting with who want something similar to what you want and who don't display or don't display yet any of the deal breakers that would make you want to stop. For example, you want children, he doesn't stop. You want marriage, he doesn't stop. No need to go forward into a second date. Sometimes no need to go forward into a first date if you can ask the guy before you connect with him a sense of what he's looking for. Number two, it's gonna be an unexclusive exploration of what's possible. I'm underlying unexclusive because so many women who connect with men feel guilty about connecting with more than one man. So here's what happens. You connect with a guy and you stop connecting with other men. He's not what you want, but you don't know it yet. You invest time and energy and there's a physical and a chemical exchange that takes place. And when you recognize that the guy is not what you want, it's a little too late because your heart is more in it than it needs to be. Your life is meshed with him in a way that's far beyond how you need to be meshed with him at this stage. And you've stopped exploring other options, which makes it harder for you to stop seeing him because in your mind, if you stop seeing him, you have to start from scratch. So there's all these subconscious gains that take place in your brain without you knowing it that make it really hard for you to get what you want faster if you're only exploring things with one guy and that guy happens to not be the right guy. It makes your beliefs get stronger about not being able to find what you want. So when you connect with a man, my recommendation is make sure that you from the start let him know that you're going to be dating more than one person. You don't have to have sex with anyone. My recommendation is that you don't. You don't have to have physical connection with any of them. That's going to happen gradually with more time if they show up the right characteristics. But you do need to be clear that if the guy wants you to be his de facto girlfriend, even though he doesn't know you and you don't know him, that's a risk too high to take that I would not recommend if you haven't found what you want so far. Number three, <laughs> once you have that unexclusive exploration, you're gonna get a real sense of who the best guy for you might be, not just in imagination, but what's present in your city, on the ground, with the men you're connecting with. You'll find one or two or three that rise to the top. And when that happens, you'll be able to make a stronger choice if both of you want exclusivity about who the best choice is for you. So the third step is intentional exclusivity. The reason why I say intentional is because you're not just becoming exclusive for the purpose of enjoying a relationship. Your intent is let's create a relationship that if it goes the right way, here's the destination that we're both headed to. If that doesn't take place, and let me tell you that so many times that doesn't take place because the woman is afraid to ask the guy, what do you really want long term from the beginning? If things go right, not with me today, I mean, you're not asking the guy to say, I want to marry you right now. Of course not, that would be crazy. But if things go right, is that what you're seeking? Because if that's what you're both doing, you have a stand, you have a chance of making it work. If the guy wants something different, he's not ready for that commitment, even in a year or two, and you are, and you don't ask that question, then you're going to be dating exclusively in an unintentional way, which means you're going to find a lot more pain than not. So here's the three things that you're searching for in that exclusive connection, that exclusive relationship. Number one is compatibility in values. Do the values that you hold true to your heart that are important, are those reflected in his being and in his intentions? Number two, lifestyle. Maybe you love exercising and he hates it. Maybe you're super clean and he's into drugs or vice versa. You wanna make sure that the lifestyle is compatible, that the type of things you enjoy doing when you're together work doesn't mean that you have to do everything he does by any means it doesn't mean that you have to like everything he likes it just means that regardless of what both of you like and enjoy doing on your own time when you're together does it work and the third thing that's so important that this exclusivity needs to resolve is your ability to resolve conflict why because this one skill of resolving conflict will make or break a relationship in other words you're creating a solid foundation of friendship that has more than friendship 
while you're very intent on figuring out how your lifestyles, your values, and your ways of being work with each other. Step number four is friend and more of that lifestyle integration. So what does that mean? That means that you're going to, through the process of consciously and exclusively dating, get a chance to connect with his friends, he gets a chance to connect with your friends, you get a chance to feel each other out, you get a chance to start doing some of the things that you both enjoy, like family uh, integration. So friend and lifestyle integration is number four, family integration is number five. Here's why this is so important. There's many women who've been in relationships for a long, long time that really haven't gotten a chance to meet any of the friends and any of the family members. Now, here you are thinking, I'm driving towards the destination called marriage, but it's been several months and I have no idea who his friends are, no idea what his family is, we're not really connecting that way. That's a fantasy, right? Because the relationship that is the highest level of relationship is going to include a mix of all those things. There's reasons why some situations need to wait, but if you wait too long to connect to the friends and to the family, then you're getting a false idea or a skewed idea of who this person is because you'll get a chance to see so much more of him in his interactions with those human beings. The next part of this, step number, step number six, is planning and executing. You, you, as a result of being in that exclusive relationship, you're gonna get a chance to plan and execute small and big things. Anything from, let's buy this piece of furniture and do it together, here's what we want to do three months from now when we get this bonus, uh, here's, the fam here's the trip we want to take in December, making sure that you can be planning things, which is something that's required in any long-term relationship, and executing them and evaluating your capacity to integrate with friends, integrate with family, your capacity to solve conflict, and your capacity to plan and execute stuff. If those things are not taking place, there's friend and family integration not taking place, planning and executing is not taking place, and you think you're gonna get married, you're living in a fantasy. It's not gonna happen, and if it happens, it's a Russian roulette type of experience. You have no idea what's gonna take place when you finally meet the family, when you finally start planning and recognize that you have different styles of communication. The main thing you wanna do through this entire process, besides building friendship, he's gonna get a chance to understand a couple of things. The first thing he wants to understand in his heart to move forward is, I don't want to live without this woman. And what I stand to lose if I lose her is much more than right now. If I were to enter this and go full heartedly, I gain so much more than if I were to lose this person, there's so much that's missing in my life. You want to get to a place of understanding and connection and it takes time and it takes patience and it takes friendship. The last step is engagement, but engagement has to be intentional as well. I know lots of women who have been engaged for years. The engagement needs to have a date in the future for a wedding. <laughs> An engagement that's indefinite is a weird engagement. Can it happen? It can happen, but an engagement that's real will typically come accompanied with some level of conversation as to when the thing is taking place, and if there's no date inside, what needs to happen for that date to be set? Plain and simple. So let me review this with you right now. If you are in a relationship that you feel is not going the right way, or if you've been in relationships that have been long-lasting relationships, and you end up being surprised that they don't go the distance, in some way, whether it's at the beginning, you understanding what you want, at the process of qualifying, the process of exploration, you went too fast too soon with someone without being unexclusive. Uh, when you were exclusive with them, maybe you were unintentional about what are we doing this for. This isn't just a relationship for fun, to pass time, to not be alone. It's a relationship that's headed somewhere. Maybe the step four of family integration, of friend integration didn't take place. Maybe family integration didn't take place. Maybe you never planned and executed things, but you thought that you'd actually be able to do it one day, far in the future. If any of that's taken place, I just want you to be aware of where you've missed the boat. So next time around, and sometimes it's from the very beginning, you can do it differently. Hope this is helpful, useful, and insightful. And if it is, I'm going to ask you to do one thing. First link in the description of this video will allow you to go through my free masterclass. All you do is enter your name and email, you start watching it right away. If you like this video, please, please click like or thumbs up. If you subscribe to my channel and click the little bell, you'll be notified of new episodes as they come out. And last but not least, and yes, I'm speaking to you. If you've been doing this for a while, you've been watching videos, talking to your friends, going to therapy, uh, attempting the law of attraction, doing vision boards, and you're not still getting what you want, there might be a significant advantage of you getting help and hand-holding to experience, experience this much faster and with less pain. And if that's you, 
Please, uh, second link in the description of this video will allow you to connect with me. You fill out an application, and if we're the right fit, I'll connect with you and let you know how I might be able to help you to get this in a fraction of the time. Thank you so much for connecting with me. As always, I challenge you to live a full and conscious life.